you're logged on to indiantimesdaily.com, the only portal for global Indians. We broadcast news from India, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat in English, Punjabi and Gujarati languages and our portal and apps have a list of well-established businesses and resources that every global Indian needs. I'm Prerna Sharma and today's headlines are In India, the government will work jointly with the cells on the Assumption Island project and BJP's Arun Jaitley has compared former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi to dictator Adolf Hitler. In Punjab, SAD's role during the emergency period has been praised and Pakistan's envoy has said that people-to-people -people interaction must continue. In Canada, visa rules have been changed to benefit Indian students and the government has introduced a new trust fund rules to end tax evasion. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada and Punjab. Get the mortgage that's best for you from Abdul Kaiser, principal broker of Ingenious Mortgages. We offer first and second mortgages and refinancing. We deal with multiple lenders. We also conduct the REMIC course and exam to become a mortgage agent in just one week at our location. Call us at 416-887-9196 or log on to www.ingeniousmortgages.ca Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are India and Seychelles have agreed to work together on a project to develop a naval base at the Assumption Island, keeping each other's concerns in mind. India also announced 100 million US dollar credit to Seychelles for augmenting its defense capabilities. In his latest article titled The Tyranny of Emergency, senior BJP leader Arun Jaitley has compared former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi to dictator Adolf Hitler. He also praised the SAD, stating how its role during the period earned it great respect in the country. Life across the Kashmir Valley was derailed by a separatist-sponsored shutdown, even as the authorities detained senior separatist leaders to prevent their participation in protests. Shops, public transport, other business establishments and educational institutions remain closed in the valley. The Gujarat High Court has awarded 10 years rigorous imprisonment to three convicts in the 2002 Naroda Patia massacre case. It observed that their punishment must be consistent with the brutality of the crime. NCP Chief Sharad Pawar has said that a pre-poll grand alliance in the next year's Lok Sabha elections is not practical. He maintained that non-BJP parties may come together for state-specific alliances to take on the ruling BJP. Finance Minister Piyush Goyal has termed India a sweet spot where the rule of law prevails. He said that the country wants investments in nine projects from the China-based AIIB. India has already picked up almost 28% of AIIB's total lendings for seven projects. The monsoon session of Parliament will commence from July 18th and end on August 10th, the Cabinet Committee of Parliamentary Affairs has recommended. The session would have nearly 18 sittings. At least five people were killed between Sunday night and Monday afternoon following heavy rain in and around Mumbai, which disrupted life in the city. The incessant rainfall has resulted in air, train and road services being disrupted. The Delhi High Court has asked authority not to act the July for the 16,500 trees sanctioned by the Centre for the redevelopment of six South Delhi colonies. All these areas are home to government employees. Bollywood superstar Sri Devi Kapoor was honoured for her final role in the 2017 film Mom at the International Indian Film Academy Awards in Bangkok, winning the Best Actress at the Celebration of Dance, Music and Film. Months earlier, she died due to accidental drowning at a Dubai hotel. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as news from Punjab and Canada follows. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JPML Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JPML Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are Senior BJP leader Arun Jaitley has praised the SAD for its role during the emergency. The party had offered its cadres for Satyagraha every day throughout the emergency outside the Golden Temple and caught it arrest. He emphasized on how the party earned great respect in the country due to it. Deputy High Commissioner of Pakistan in India, Syed Haider Shah, has said that people-to-people -people interaction between the two countries should not be hindered. 
A day earlier, Indian envoy Ajay Bisaria was denied access to Gurdwara Panja Sahib in Pakistan. The fate of lakhs of post-metric students from socially backward communities hangs in balance as the centre and state are at spa over the scholarship scheme for SE students. The union government had earlier changed the format of dispersing scholarship by basing it on the last contribution made by the state. The state will pay full compensation of 4.5 crore rupees to the Jodhpur detainees if the centre fails to give its share. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh's announcement came after a telephonic conversation with Union Home Secretary Rajiv Gauba. A third victim of drug overdose has rocked Amritsar in the last three days. A youth, Harbhet Singh, was found dead near the railway lines in Varka area recently. Residents found a syringe and small vial near his body. The state will deploy the Central Industrial Security Force for checking and frisking in six high-security jails. They will be deployed by the end of next month as part of the government's efforts to strengthen prison security. The SGPC has constituted a cell to legally pursue the cases of Sikhs who were illegally detained in a Jodhpur jail after Operation Blue Star. The announcement was made by SGPC Chief Govind Singh Longawal while commencing the Karseva for the construction of facade of the Golden Temple's Guru Ramdas Langar Hall. The Department of Jails has ordered that all accused in sacrilege cases will be kept in separate barracks. The decision came after an accused was attacked by gangsters in Ludhiana Central Jail. Finance Minister Manpreet Badal has claimed that the state is witnessing an investment of 10,000 crore rupees for setting up 160 biomass plants. This will extend farmers' managerial practices for paddy straw and agricultural waste, along with keeping the state's environment clean. The Punjab Road Transport Corporation has decided to issue bus tickets through online machines from July 15. Transport Minister Aruna Chaudhary has announced that in the first phase, the scheme will be started at the Patiala bus depot and later will be launched in other depots as well. I'll be back. Stay locked on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Canada follows. Scans accounting. A team of highly professional accountants. We deliver quality and immeasurable assistance to our clients. For Canada audit assistance and your business loans, the only name you can trust. A professional accountant always makes a difference. For more information, call us at 416-741-0801 or visit us at scansaccountants.com. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are... The government has introduced a faster and simpler visa processing mechanism for students from India and three other countries. The new program cuts down the processing time for student visas to within 45 days as opposed to within 60 days under the new Student Direct Stream program. The federal government has introduced sweeping reporting rules for private trust funds which will force tough penalties equaling 5% of the total value who fail to file tax returns of their trust. Offshore trust fund worth $60 million linked to two generations of Liberal Party fundraisers were exposed in the Paradise Papers leak. Federal officials overseeing Canada's shipbuilding program has warned the Liberal government that they were being pressured to steer up to $1.2 billion worth of repair works towards the Irving-owned Halifax shipyard. Internal documents have also revealed an impending construction gap between different classes of warships. Canada's Conservative Party and its leader Andrew Scheer has announced its support for a single form tax return system for Quebec, which would be managed by the provincial government. Currently, taxpayers in Quebec fill out two forms for their taxes, one for provincial and the other for federal. The amount of tax that Canadians admit to owing Ottawa but haven't paid rose to a record $43.8 billion this year, despite the Liberal government's budget promise to stabilise the sum. An internal Canada Revenue Agency projection has projected the amount of unpaid tax owed is set to hit more than $47 billion by 2020. The cancellation of Ontario's cap and trade system will leave billions of dollars in carbon credits unresolved and consumers on the hook for pricey home upgrades. The now cancelled Green On Rebate program under the former Liberal government had paid $500 per opening in which energy efficient windows are installed. The Canadian dollar has weakened against its US counterpart as worries over an escalating trade dispute between the United States and other leading economies weighed on stocks. The Canadian dollar was trading 0.2% lower at 75.23 US cents to the greenback. The federal government has announced a $75 million pilot project in the new Brunswick that will help develop national solutions to improve seniors' quality of life. 
The research will provide valuable information on how best to help Canadians on better aging. Canada's National Police Force is facing a mammoth $1.1 billion lawsuit which is believed to be the biggest in the force's history over bullying and harassment claims. The new lawsuit could eventually represent thousands of male and female RCMP officers, civilian staff and volunteers dating back decades. The Liberal government is facing calls to revoke funding granted through the Canada Summer Jobs Program to an Islamic organization leader who was accused of spreading hatred. Sheikh Shafiq Hudda, the leader of Islamic Humanitarian Service, had allegedly called Israeli soldiers in Gaza to be sent home in body bags. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Welcome to the Field Fresh Supermarket. One stop shop for fresh vegetables, fruits, bakery products, Indian and Chinese grocery, and much more. Visit us today at 5661 Steels Avenue East in Scarborough, major intersection Steels and Middlefield. Check out our weekly flyers. Field Fresh Supermarket. Always fresh. Veteran actor Anil Kapoor on the fate of a probable Mr. India sequel said it will happen when it has to happen and that Sri Devi and Amrish Puri are surely missed. At the green carpet of the 19th edition of the International Indian Film Academy Awards on Sunday, Anil was asked about the sequel of the 1987 Entertainer. He said, Every film has its own destiny and when it's going to happen, it will happen. There were talks that Anil and Sri Devi would be back for the follow-up of the movie, originally directed by Shekhar Kapoor. Short on words over his co-actor and sister-in-law Sri Devi's demise earlier this year, Anil said, We will miss her, we will miss Amrish Puri Mogambo, but life goes on. We miss all of them and we will try our best to follow their legacy and so that we can make them proud. We make a good film and they appreciate it. The actor, who has clocked 35 years in the film industry and whose latest release is Race 3, is now looking forward to Fane Khan. Immigration Terminal, the specialist for visitor visa, student visa, business immigration, family sponsorship, work permits, PNP programs, living caregivers and LMIA applications. Highly experienced in cases involving criminal or medical admissibility and previously refused or misrepresentation cases. Call 416-675-5666 in Ontario or 778-927-3455 in BC. Email us at info at immigrationterminal.ca. Immigration Terminal, right consultants, right future. The 19th edition of IFA in Bangkok finally came to an end on Sunday night with lots of glitz and glamour. From veteran beauty Rekha to the younger generation's Varundavan set the stage on fire with their performances. Let's take a look at the entertainment portions at IFA. To begin with, veteran Rekha, who mesmerized everyone after 20 long years with her performance on her hit Evergreen songs. Rekha looked stunning in a powder pink anarkali, performing on songs like Dil Cheez Kya Hai, In Aankho Ki Masti Mein, and so on. Actor Ranbir Kapoor surprised everyone with his rock star look. He looked dapper in an all-black ensemble with a double neck guitar in his hands. Shraddha Kapoor too performed that night. But more than her performance, seemed like she was more excited to watch Rekha live on stage. Hugging Rekha and mesmerized by her, she shared her photograph on Instagram. Varun Dhawan too made it a night worth remembering with his performances on some hit numbers. He too shared his fan moment with Rekha on social media. The ones who grabbed the audience with duets were Bobby Deol and Yulia Wantor and Arjun Kapoor with Priti Sanam. Well, with such teasers, we await the full coverage to air soon on television. Karol Bag Jewelers, Ganya the latest design link, Pali choice. Sone at the Hire the set. चूड़ियां अति कड़े, चेन, जड़ाऊ सेट, अति होर भी कई गहने अति स्पेशल डिस्काउंट, सब तो वर्डी चॉइस, बेहतरीन सर्विस, अति सब तो वाजी ब्रेटा ले आओ, करोल बाग ज्वेलर्स, अति रूप ज्वेलर्स, करोल बाग ज्वेलर्स, 1098 पीटर रॉबर्टसन बुलेवार्ड, ब्रैम्पटन, रूप ज्वेलर्स, 503 रेल ऑसन बुलेवार्ड, ब्रैम्पट